Well, two years ago, a teenager named Ryan Fisher was killed in a hit and run while walking on Kruger Road in the town of Wheatfield. And residents have been demanding safe improvements ever since. Justin Moore has the story. 16-year-old Ron Fisher's life was cut short two years ago. A car hit him while he and his girlfriend were walking down Kruger Road in Wheatfield. He was basically ripped from his girlfriend's arm and um, he was thrown into a ditch. The pain still very raw for Ryan's stepmom, Kelly Duger. That's why she's pushing for change. I, do. I would like the sidewalk to go in and save another family from going through what we went through. Duger and her neighbor Deborah Fidel are pushing the town of Wheatfield to build a one mile sidewalk on Kruger Road. They believe Ryan's death could have been prevented if there was a safe place to walk. Our roads are dark. Our roads don't have hardly any shoulder. They have children, they have families. And like I said, I look around at my house and I see my grandchildren and I see weddings and they will not have that. As you can see, there's very little room for me to even walk here on the side of the road. Kelly and Deborah have presented a 600 signature petition to the town requesting a sidewalk. Wheatfield Town Supervisor Robert Cliff says the town is pursuing a grant, but he's concerned about who will pick up the remainder of the cost, with Wheatfield only having a $12 million annual budget. I think there's always going to be the potential for a need for sidewalks, but it's not just Kruger Road. The town of Wheatfield has a comprehensive plan that's supposed to improve the safety with sidewalks. Deborah and Kelly say they will do everything in their power to make sure this gets done. We do love Wheatfield, but we want it to be safer for everyone. I'm not going to go away until something's done. In the town of Wheatfield, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.